Hey guys, so mirror effect today for me gonna be fun. Okay, so let's fucking clock see. So RuPaul's Drag Race. I thought that Fifi was fin to go home. And I was really happy about that shit, really. You know, I was ecstatic. And, um, no, Willem went home. And now I'm kind of fucking mad. But I will say, I think Willem was doing drugs. And I don't have that confirmed by anyone. I'm just telling you my gut instincts. And I have a pretty big gut, so I would say that I'm pretty fucking right. Willem was definitely doing some sort of drug. And that's what they were fucking referencing when they were talking in the lounge, clocking tea and things like that. And plus the the throwing up on stage. Now when now at first I was kind of annoyed with Latrice being like, hold up, all right, I've seen um, you know the untucked and you see how they're on the stage. They're just standing there for a, a minute. You feel me? Because they gotta okay. Once you do your runway, what do you do? You chill backstage while everybody else does their fucking runway. Then after everybody does their runway, you gotta chill and go into the, into the illusions lounge and the gold bar and talk about your shit and get red on stage. You know what I'm saying? That's a long ass process. So I'm sure they're standing up there under hot ass lights, wearing tight ass clothes. Willem always in them damn high ass shoes. So really, you know, I, I really was like, damn, you know, he's throwing up. I felt really bad. I was like, fuck, I hope something isn't wrong, you know? And then as it really progressed and I watched the Untucked episode, I was like, mm, chap. But before I fucking forget, let me go off. Did y'all see Rue's hair? Did y'all see Rue's hair last night? Oh my God. And the green. And the fucking green. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm telling you right now, I want to go to RuPaul's house. Break into this bitch's wig crypts because you know the bitch has a fucking bureau, some sort of fucking wardrobe full of fucking wig heads and hair and everything a bitch could ever want or need. And, um, and honestly, you know, I may be big around, but she's taller than me. So, you know, the fabric be draping girl, that green top, that shit could have been mine. But that ass though, outfit was fucking sickening, deliciousness. And I loved it. Um, and damn, doing this shit makes me want to twin. Like, fuck, wouldn't it be cool if we could both put it together like this? Like, hello, hello. I'm like really hyped about my with my eye makeup today because it really came out the way that I wanted to I wanted it to come out. Um and my bangs. Anyways, uh who else can we clock? Bitch Fifi. Fifi, I thought you was going home and I was excited, bitch. I had a little bottle of champagne and a fucking cupcake with a candle in it, bitch. I was excited to see you leave. Last season, though I did have an informant, I already could clock it that woman was gonna win, but as you can see now that there's a turn, a wrench in the works, I already know now for a fact it's going to be Sharon Needles. And that's what it, quote me on that shit. Quote me on Sharon Needles. She's taking it all the way to the top. And I'll tell you right now, it's going to be Sharon, uh, Chad, and Latrice in the top three now. But um, I'm sad. Rest in peace, Willem. Rest in peace. Because, bitch, I will miss you in your shoe collection because I live for it. I was enjoying it. I always get sad when a queen leaves really soon, especially when I'm really enjoying her vibe. You know, because Dita really could have went home, if we're keeping it real. Dita is really just a waste of space, just keeping it really serious. Fifi is really wasting my time here. And um, she's just a really bitter queen, and I really don't like that shit. And Latrice, I won't say Latrice is wasting my time, but I know Latrice isn't going to win for the simple fact that she's just not going to win. It's not even that she's not good. I just know she's not going to win. And it's not because she's not the bomb. It's just because she's not going to win. Sharon's going to take it. And I truly believe it's because Sharon has a new form of drag. Latrice, I've seen it before. And while you do it perfectly, I think that RuPaul's Drag Race, um, as from what, what you can really see is they tr truly pick the, um, not the weirdest person, but one of the most hardworking and versatile people. When Tyra won, you could see she burned her skin, okay? She was burning her flesh just to put on her costume, okay? Craziness. Moving forward, Chad. I have a new respect for Chad. I don't know what it is, but I saw Chad last night, and I was really getting into Chad. And I was like, you know what, Chad? I fuck with you. I really do. I didn't fuck with you in the jump. In the jump, when we first got into that shit, I was like, uh-uh. But now that I really see you, see you, and really get your beat, I fuck with you hard body. But girl, chow. Dita, 
and Fifi should have been gone. And I'm mourning. I am mourning. Okay, I'm mourning right now. I should have came in black because it's a black fucking day. Um, I'm telling you, when I get on, let me get a fucking makeup artist or some shit so I can fucking glow and shit. Because fuck, I'm sitting in front of a goddamn window right now. That's how the fuck I could glow right now. But RuPaul, well, I know they got the lighting on her and the dream cam and shit, but still, sickening killed me, okay, bitch? I'm suffering right now, okay? I'm suffering right now from RuPaul's outfits and hair and makeup and everything last night. First world problem really is. So, with that said, I already clocked the beat. Um, but I do want to say, Fifi, something is wrong with you, girl. You have a chemical imbalance or some shit because really, you know, who's that pressed? And and, and let me let me just say another thing. Let me just say another thing. I'm yeah. You know, how interesting that everybody want to fuck Latrice. Hmm. Yes. And how interesting that Sharon would fuck Fifi. But Fifi wouldn't fuck Sharon. Real hate out there. And it's crazy because Fifi don't know Sharon from jump. You feel me? And I feel like Sharon never did anything fucked up to Fifi. Yes, Sharon might have gotten in her face and might have said some shit that Fifi didn't like. But I really feel like the catalyst for all this shit is Fifi just acting a fool and feeling like she's too good. And this bitch shouldn't be here, but I should be. Actually, bitch. Actually, Fifi. The whole competition... You finally just pulled off a look last week. How the fuck you pull off one look in the whole how many weeks you've been there? And you think that you're somebody's fucking Beyonce, bitch? You think you're somebody's fucking saltwater taffy? Uh-uh, bitch. No way. Get out. You're stuck. So, with that said, let me stop shading these queens. Um, came through with the mirror can. Yes, man, with my side bangs, bitch. Yes, girl. Yes, girl.